For all of my subscribers that tuned in to see the bugs, this is a walking stick or a stick insect, stick bug. It goes by a lot of different names. You can Google walking stick insect. I believe it's an arthropod. But these things are quite uh, common in Texas in the summertime. This guy is very dead, unfortunately. But you can see the camouflage that nature gives them. It's just beautiful. You can be looking right at it and not even see it. And these are dead branches, of course. But when they're not dead, they're just about the exact same color as this guy. And he's about the size of my hand. He's pretty good size. They eat leaves primarily, they do not sting, and they say if there's water around, they'll go for little droplets and dew and moisture and such, but if you keep one of these as a pet, don't use a bowl because they are prone to falling into the bowl and drowning, so don't let that happen. Not a spider this time, but I thought you might find that interesting. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you watching. This is called a walking stick. It's a, probably the biggest one I've ever seen. And I'm not sure if they're going to do the wild thing here or what's the story, but I think they might be mating. Just a hunch. I initially thought this was a praying mantis attacking it, but it is in fact not a praying mantis. I thought the big one was probably the girl, but, or the, excuse me, the guy, but it looks like it may be the female. And I don't want to interrupt this thing right here, but I'm going to show you, I mean, put my hand, I can't even get my hand next to it. It's got to be six inches long, tip the back of whatever. That is truly some special insect, bug, whatever you want to call it. I know somebody's going to make a comment. Amazing. And I guess that's the, where the magic's happening, right there. Incredible. I think it's huge. <laughs> 